gonna take it after when I after introduce you. Sometimes you need to fight. So, can I have your attention, everyone? Uh, so, my name is Oscar, and uh, I'm just here to introduce Rihan. And Rihan is uh, originally from uh, a place called Pakistan. Has anyone been in Pakistan? No one? Uh, but now he's a citizen of the earth. He's traveling the planet and sharing ideas and how to. A lot of moonshots, big ideas on how to make the world better. And uh, I look forward to listen to Ria. So I think big applause to Ria. Thank you all for uh, joining. It was a lot of competition right here, 56 speakers. So uh, thank you all for taking your time. Uh, so I have a small introduction behind the book. Anybody who needs a copy? Please do that one. Um, so this is more of, I was going to say workshop style, so I'd like to get to know you guys and uh, see how we can collaborate together and make a better world. Um, you will hear a little bit of stories, different stories here and there. The whole idea is um, how do we leverage technology on opening our minds and making ourselves better in the future. So if you want to introduce yourself and, you know, and your name, uh, where you're from and two line introduction of what is exactly uh, you do and your moonshot. Like, what is the biggest thing in the world you would like to do? <laughs> Small tiny things that you normally. Well, I'm Lars Erik Lundqvist. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. I work as a coach, consultant, and mentor uh, with a certain focus on trying to create more engagement. In, in companies, employee engagement, and uh, and the, the, the franchising I'm working for, they've set the target of re improving the lives of 100 million people. I think that's sort of a nice dream shot. Yeah, so I'm sticking to that. Thanks. Oh, my name is Anne-Marie Friske uh, from Belgium. Um, yes, <laughs> Friske is the in Swedish, uh, they say it's health, and I'm a medical doctor. <laughs> I want to improve health of people, uh, and uh, I work in as a stress management uh, coach and therapist. Well, um, took my daughter here, mm -hmm. and other coach. Well, Any and moonshot, like Aladdin's lamp, genie's oh. hair, what do you want? Oh, I don't know. Um, Make one. Help more. Oh, uh, uh, How many more? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um. One of my, uh, one of my uh, favorite thinkers, his name is Peter Diamantis. He, say, he says that today, in today's world, with our devices and the internet and poor people, we can impact a billion lives in five years. So it's about having a moonshot, it's about having a big dream, it's about having a big goal if you want. The tools are available for us to do that. As Archimedes says, um, if you give me a long enough stick, I can lift the whole world with one hand. And today the internet, the social media, the, the mobile phone allows us to actually think in those lines. It's, it's really difficult to think that, and that is the biggest challenge that we have, that we don't even make our goals. Like, I went all over the event yesterday and only booth I stopped at was his because he had like I want to impact a hundred million people. I was like, okay, oh, this is my kind of person who actually wants to do something giant. So but you should think about it. I think the person who runs McDonald's and the person the person who runs a small shish kebab shop has twenty four hours a day, same brain, same hand, same internet. It's it's what we do with our time. So it makes a bigger impact. 
on paper. And I said, oh, I didn't have one up to 10 years ago. And I was in the same position that, you know, I didn't have one. And the biggest challenge was myself. I was not able to say my own goal. It took me three years to even say it from like paper to, to, um, to, to everybody else. It's a very bad thing when you have a large goal. Some people think, it, you know, what will they say? What will they think? So make the goal. It's, it's the first step towards reaching it. So a large is not a number. So we put a number and it gets done. Okay, a few millions then. <laughs> a few, a hundred million million or <laughs> think about it. Okay. Take your time. Yeah. Sir? Yeah, hey. I'm Pierre Hombre. I'm from Norway and um, my background is uh, is uh, uh, I run a, a chain of dental offices in northern part of Norway, but I also have been you know, half my life in business. So, so, and I'm fantasizing about a third career. What what what, uh, what is against me in that context is that I'm 72 years of age, but I, I'm fantasizing on selling offices and and st study sociology and start writing books. So the implication is that I'm going to be 100 years old and be healthy all the way. That's fantastic. So Mohammed Mohammed is the Prime Minister of Malaysia and he's 92 years old and he was selected three months ago yes. as a Prime Minister. After 10 years of vacation. I met him four years ago and I thought he was going to pass out. But apparently he worked on himself and at 92 he got elected again. You know, so that gives us more hope that age is not really yeah. um, a big factor anymore. Mm. So, I came here with my mother. I'm sitting down And I'm a psychologist. Uh, so I do that as a living. But I have another passion. I think it is permaculture. It is gardening. But it's not just gardening. It's also how to create sustainable communities. And that's something mix the goals and, and see if we can have a bigger impact on that. Any more thoughts? Uh, that's the one. How Creating sustainable big? community of the world. Save the world, not having the world be unsustainable, right? <laughs> Maybe we can just have a little impact on it. So impact on seven and a half billion have people. A, yeah. yeah. I think we all do in a way. Sure. Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Martin Norling and uh, uh, I have uh, haven't had any goals almost for since I was 20 and I've been working in a pharmaceutical company for uh, 17 years and now lately I have felt like an urge to, to help other people to improve their lives and that's uh, I've been uh, part of a program with uh, Jack Canfield, his uh, transformational mm -hmm. trainer, uh, and uh, uh, also doing uh, a lot of coaching. So uh, I don't have a number. I, I would like to do a workshop for 200 people uh, this year. So that's uh, like a small goal close in time. Chicken soup for the soul and switch. Uh, yeah, maybe that. Sama, uh, Sama Akbar is my name. I come originally from Syria and I've been living in Sweden since 2012. I am an NLP trainer and coach. The first ever actually uh, certified from Syria, directly from John Dundu, co-creator of NLP. Um, my goal is, well, I'm a father of two. I'm married to a father of two. Uh, my goal is to unify the field of coaching. Yes, sir. In one model. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Anna. I come from Guatemala. Um, I face struggling, you know, with what to do with my, my goal in life for the last Four years, it's been like a craziness in my life. 
And now I can tell now that you said, like, what is it? I know. But it took me for the last four years to define it because I had it like this global idea that I want to transform the life of people. That was the initial goal, but it wasn't, you know, like measurable or like very uh, focused, very uh, specific. Um, I'm an entrepreneur and a coach, and what I want to do is transform the life of one million Spanish speaking people through coaching, especially um, using. Um, everything, NLP, coaching, um, mental training, through stress management. Why are you doing <coughs> That's the first goal. What's the next goal? <laughs> the rest of Iberoamerica, all the Spanish-speaking countries. Okay. So what, do you want, what do you want to see because of the result of the coaching? In, for me, my dream actually has to do with the development of Latin America. So financial, economic, brain, art. A little bit what? of everything, you know, that we're not poor anymore. That people are enough empowered to create their reality through the self. So they, we change the way of thinking of the whole culture at all social levels, uh, all activities, so people go and, and fulfill their dreams, whatever they are. If they want to stay in their town, if they want to go to the city, if they want to go to other countries, but that they feel enough empowerment to do whatever they want to do. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gabriele Kopp, I'm from Germany, and I'm a um, child therapist. I'm a coach. I've done um, hypnotherapy and education, and I'm working mainly with dyslexic children, with their parents, with their um, teachers. Um, and well, my dream is my big dream is that every child in the world can read and write and have a same happy life in school. So, how many people is that? Mm, how many children are there? You guys the mind world? if I report you? No, no. <laughs> Anybody huh? mind if I report you? No, oh, okay. Left. Yeah. 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 Sir? My name is Dave Gutierrez. I live in this town and uh, I do uh, courses, education online uh, for people who are highly 